I have to remind myself there was more to my son's life than than being murdered in a bar brawl. It tends to dominate me. It shouldn't. It mustn't. Though I find it extraordinary that in a, a room filled with more than a hundred people, no one saw a thing. The murder weapon, the knife, disappeared, and the security cameras were conveniently blind for the evening. But I see it. I need to know what really happened. It's as simple as that. And the police investigation is ongoing, yeah? They say that they have a suspect whom they've arrested twice, but there's never been a charge. Well, who's the suspect? Let me show you. His name's O'Connor. James O'Connor. He was at university with Ian. His father owns the bar where it happened. The Z bar. Terry O'Connor. You know him? Yeah, he's a bit of a villain. Hence the missing evidence. And forgetful witnesses. Why would Ian want to get mixed up with the O'Connors? He was interested in owning his own bar, restaurant. I don't know, do you have to ask these people for permission or something? Yes, you do. Who's the investigating officer? His name's Driscoll. DCI Driscoll. Was well, that good or bad? It's good, no. It's, it's fine. It's good, it's good, it's good. Um, Ian's friends, uh, the friends that were there, um, what do they know? They know nothing. So nothing. And you don't believe them? I think they're frightened. Of O'Connor? It would seem so, yes. No disrespects, Mr. Harper, but if uh, Ian's friends don't want to talk to the police and they don't want to talk to you, what makes you think they want to talk to me? Because the police want to put them on the witness stand. I reek of grief and what they say to you will go no further. I'm not asking you to do the job of the police. I'm asking you to find out why my son was murdered. Do you have children? No, I don't know. You? Yeah. Then you'll know how I feel. Listen, this is something we should talk about. Um, I want you to understand, if we do take the case, we'll be looking into um, Ian's life and lifestyle. Are you prepared for that? Well, yes, of course. Well, then I shall give you a call tomorrow with an answer. Yes. Thank you for coming to see me. No, thank you. What's there to think about? He just wants someone to hold his hand and tell him that his boy is lovely and special. No, he wants to know what happened. He knows what happens. He happens every Saturday night and most school nights. Do you want a coffee? I'm having a coffee. How are you not thinking about turning him down? I want to do this, Vincent. It'd make a change from insurance frauds and matrimonials. And because he's got nowhere else to go except to us. And we can help with all the pain, can we? No, no. We can tell him what happened and why, hopefully. Give him a chance. I'm thinking about it. It's a good case. In every sense of the word. What are you doing tonight? Well, I'm supposed to be going around my sister's for a meal. Not fancy it? Well, it's like a dating agency and I'm the only client. Lynn seems to think the best way for me to forget about Kath is to, um, go with someone else. You don't? Well, it's not fair on someone else, is it? You told Arthur you had a kid. Yeah, Kyle is seven. No, I, I didn't know. Yeah. Well, he lives with his dad in the States. Thanks to the American family courts, I get to see him twice a year. Very long, very sad story. It must be tough. God bless America. this biscuit. What? Oh, it's sweet tooth. Vincent. I'm thinking about it. How you going, Sally? 
You letting out boys in here? Mr. Gallagher, what are you doing? Good, good, you. Same. Well, behave yourself in there now. Terry. Terry who? You're employer, Terry O'Connor. Is he coming in? Maybe. Later, when the money comes in. Yeah, well, that figures. Uh, I suppose he'll be down the line, club. Maybe. Uh, by the way, I wasn't looking for him. You mind how you go? Stay safe. If you get a point, sir, you'll be lonely. So long, mate, Chrissy. So long, mate, you're early. Just having coffee. Me? Yeah, do me a favour. Big one. Happy. I'll tell you later. And where the bloody hell have you been? Yeah, I'm sorry I'm late. I've got no excuse work for hearing. This is Roxanne, a friend from work. Roxanne Vincent, my big brother. Hi. Hello, Roxanne. Just been telling him what a lovely dinner he missed. What'd you get a take, Wiley? No, I bloody cooked it. Set the box in one day. She works all day. Don't listen to him. I bloody well cooked it. But if I'd have known someone interesting was here to talk to, I'd have got here earlier. There you go. Thank you. Cheers. Shouldn't you let them drain? No, two's company. What, out there or in here? It's a lovely name, Roxanne. Thank you. I like it. It's strong. And sassy? I was going to say that. But I thought I'd stay on uh, safe ground with strong. Then I was going to go through the S's, you know. Sexy via sassy. <laughs> Whereas Vincent is... Well, it's something you call a quiet boy. <laughs> so, uh, what's his favour, then? I need to look at a few files. Oh, is that all? The murder files. Ian Harper. Look, can I take that as a yes? Let's see what type of music you like. It's not a music tape, it's um it's French, I'm learning French. Oh, very good. Trey No, that's a lie, I'm not learning French. It's work. Pardon. <laughs> that's my fault, sorry. I'm a private investigator. Uh, it's a tape from Angie and his wife hammers all the time. Tell me about it. Had a lovely night. Yeah, me too. It's just pull the end. I watch you go in. Sorry, what did you say? Oh, I said I watch you go in. Oh, okay, thanks. Right then. Bye.
God. I didn't see anything. Carry on. Michael, what are you doing home? Just ignore me, I'm invisible. Oh. Oh, sorry, you're supposed to be sent his friend's house. That's all right. Oh, it's not all right, it's bloody awful. So I would be all much funny in the world. Hope you're practicing safe sex, Mother. And I hope it's not a one night stand. I'm sorry. No, no, it's my fault. Um, are you all right? Mm. I should go home. Um, Only fast asleep. Yeah. What are you having? Cocoa, please. It was two large bean and teas, plenty of ice, mate. Thirty-five. I've seen wine hostess in. Ball geezer with a grey suit. Cherry O'Connor. Very heavy goods. Can he talk to his son James? Mm. The accused. Mm. Chip off the old block. Okay. How much? Ten pounds. How much? Ten pounds. <sighs> About this job. You taking it? Is it doable? If a father wants to know what's happened, yeah, it's doable. Mm, I think so. It's not enough, though, is it? It's only half a job. It's what the client wants. So we're interested in only half a job? You're not. No. I want to know what happened. I want to know who did it and why. I want enough evidence so I can show it right up David Driscoll's area arse. Oh, yeah. And would this evidence still be admissible? <coughs> All right, game on. <sighs> Detective Sergeant Gallagher, long time. Hello, Terry. Long time no warrant card. I heard it suits him. Don't think so. How's business? Quiet. I believe you've been looking at me. Yeah. I've been doing a bit of work for a fella called uh, Edward Harper. His son got killed in one of your other clubs. The Zebra, yeah. Mm. I was wondering if I could talk to James. My James? Yeah. What about what? Well, well, the boy who was murdered, Ian Harper. James knew it, didn't he? James had nothing to do with it. So we'll agree to leave him alone, shall we? I've got five minutes. You know the best thing about you not being a copper anymore? Where do I start? This! Plus, you have nothing and nobody to back you up. Except him. And what can he do about it except take my picture? You know, Terry, you're right. I know I'm right. So do you mind if I finish my drink? Is that a problem, Dad? No, 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 everything's all right. Sir. Hello, James. Just talking to your dad about Ian Harper. I think you better leave, gents. Don't you? Oh, I can see you're your father's son. Oh, I hope so. Good night. Good. Your friend comes anywhere near me or my son and you'll be the one that pays. Now, what's your name? John. I know who you are now, John. Open the door! Open the door! Just having a friendly word, Vincent. I know. Vincent, it's only me, Kathy. Are you there? Do you want to pick up? 
estate agent terminals are viewing this morning. Can you try and leave the place tidy, please? It's important. Bye. appreciate this, Chrissy. Yeah. How's the investigation going? No, no, it isn't. They know what Connor's lad did it. They just can't get him into court. Well, how do they know he did it? Witnesses that are no longer. Saw an earlier skirmish. Then they saw James with blood on his clothes or someone who looked like James. Oh, yeah, plus a complete absence of any evidence. A bit of giveaway, innit? How'd it go with Roxanne? Well, she went home. I went home. So what? There was no fill in the boots then? No, there was no fill in the boots. Oh, your sister will be disappointed. Put the lock on the door, eh? Yeah. Right. See you later, Chris. Yeah. I thought I might catch you colouring in. What are you doing here? I got a message from Edward Harper. He said he got fed up waiting, so he's going private. With you? Well, he wants the best. Jesus. So I'll get your finger out if I was you, before I show you up with 1% of the resource. You tell Mr Harper for me that, um... I'm sorry about the lack of progress, but lately I've been absolutely shagged out. Oi. Hey. That's no way to talk about the woman we love. No, it isn't. You know, I really must try harder to ignore you. Impossible. Apparently left the flat looking like a tip. What time do you call this in, eh? You're still at a breakfast meeting and turned up at tea time. Well, I went to try the flat up, didn't I? Right, I need you to download this. I want copies for me, John and the files. Now listen, some of them pictures ain't nice. Cool. What have I been missing? Rather ate your raisin Danish. No, I ate a raisin Danish. Nobody said it was Vincent's until I took a bite. So, uh, what are we doing about Edward Harper? Gonna take it, right? Yeah, we're taking it. Good. I'm happy. Have you told him yet? Look, Beth, um, it's just going to be John and uh, me on this one to begin with, you know. And Terry O'Connor's involved, it might get naughty. I want to be involved. And you know I want to be involved. I've told you it's important to me. Yeah. Well, we don't need you, not on this job. Job for the boys, is it? Yes. God, Vincent, you can't put me in a cupboard and expect to bring me out whenever you need a bit of skirt. We don't need you on this job. It's as simple as that. Fine. I'll get on with a few shitty jobs then, should I? Deliver a few court orders for you, play postman, postperson. Beth, don't walk away. Not walking away, Vincent. I've got a little work. Beth, Terry O'Connor kills people. I know this. Who's Terry O'Connor? The big bad wolf. I'll call her. Take her for lunch. She'll be all right. That should do the trick. Can I have a little bit of respect round here, please? She can take care of herself, though, you know, it's... Oh, yeah, she does that Japanese thing. What, karate? Oh, origami. 
Leave off. Sorry, mate. Sorry. Look, John, when you've gone through what Robert's doing over there, uh, we've got to start speaking to Ian Harper's friends. Uh, it's Gilbert, Nicola Walsh, and the other bloke that was with him that night, Scott Bean. Yeah, who is it? Yeah, uh, Roger Doggy. Vincent? Someone called Roxanne. Tell her I'm not here. I think she might have heard that, sorry. Yeah, she's gone. Sorry about that. Just getting them in focus. Excuse me. Gotcha. Mr. Bean. You're being funny. Is that not the correct way to pronounce it? Scott Bean. Who are you? I represent Edward Harper. You were a friend of his son's Ian Harper, I believe. You are Scott Bean. Better come in. Cheers. I told the police everything I know. It was just a night out, nothing special. We took a couple of bars and Zed Bar was next on the list. We, um, made it Me, Ian and Nicola. Ian's bed. Oh. So you went to the Zed Bar and what then? Yeah, we were there for a while and Ian went to the bathroom and you know what happened. What did you see? Look, anything can be important. I saw the bouncers pouring through the bar to the back. To the toilets. Right, so you knew they'd been around? Oh, yeah. I mean, the next minute, the fire alarms are going off, girls are screaming. And someone said someone had been stabbed. We hung around until the blue lights arrived, and then I got off. And you ran away? Well, you knew Ian was missing, and, um... You knew someone had been stabbed. And... That's right. Good friends, were you? Not especially. It was a business partnership. Embryonic. Well, I was both into clubland. I was Ian's bit of rough. <laughs> Not sexual, like. Mm -hmm. Why would James O'Connor want to stab Ian? Ask James O'Connor. Carry a blade, do you? Not guilty. When did your man die? Eight weeks ago. Been away. You what? Well, sun I mean, Is that real? Mexico. No. Oh. Cancun. Mm. Very nice. It's very nice. He's odd. Hmm. The way he talks about Ian Harper. I reckon he's not so much lost a friend as a battle. Think so? No. Yeah. And that confiscate his bin bags. Hmm. I better talk to Nicola Walsh. So who is this Roxanne? Mind your own business. I said the private investigator. Hmm. I seen her again. She's got a teenage son. What am I supposed to do with him? I don't think you're supposed to do anything. Aren't you getting ahead of yourself? Roxanne. Beth. I want to know what she is. Thank you. Don't let my dad bother you. Oh, um... Have you worked? I did a year in London, 18 months on the ships. When you're available? When you need me. I'm saving up to be rich. That's tall. Are you 
You'll need to fill this in. We need proof of ID, references if you've got them, contact address and phone number. Okay? Okay, who's on the phone? Mate. Where are you going? Do you want me to answer? Oh, we'll be in touch. I can drop something in. Thank you. Miss Walsh? Who is it? Vincent Gallagher. We spoke on the phone. Yeah, um, come up, six Thank you. Although we lived here together, the place is very much Ian's. Cheers. I'll stay here for a respectable six months, and then I'll tell Ian's father it's time to move on. That's unusual. Yeah, Ian liked it. What can you tell me about Scott Bean? He's a friend of Ian's. But not a friend of yours? No. I know him through Ian, but that's it. Uh -huh. What was Scott and Ian's relationship like? I think they made each other feel important. Do you know James O'Connor? Yeah. I've met him. Uh -huh. I can't really say that I know him, though. But you'd have no idea why James would want to kill Ian? No. No idea why they should be fighting? No. Why was he your boyfriend? <laughs> because you was handsome, funny. And <laughs> because he asked me. And then because I liked him. I liked being around him. He was exciting and fast and we laughed a lot. And then because it just became a habit. I do feel guilty that I don't miss him more. How much have you given him, Jay? I'm talking to you. How much? Does it matter? Well, of course it bloody matters. It's my money. I know at least five grand's gone from the lion, so how much? That's it. Five grand. Bollocks. If you like. You're in charge after all. Don't walk away from me, Jay. Jay! I gave him some money to go on holiday. It got him out of the country, didn't it? But now he's back. And I'll sort it out. Don't involve yourself in things you don't understand. Your job is to keep a cool head for just a few more weeks. You said that a few weeks ago. What you got? Well, the bad news is Mr. Bean doesn't recycle. What's the good news? I've got more money than him. He's in debt to the tune of seventeen thousand pounds, but hey, you can still go to Mexico. He's got credit cards, store cards, all up to the max. Question is, where's he get the money from? Hold up. Come just in time to be a foot soldier. Love to. I'm on Claremont Avenue alongside the cemetery. He's turned into the cemetery. Straight through by the look of things. Vincent, he's slowing down. He's looking about him. He's changing direction. He's coming this way. He's moving towards a guy on a bench. 
Oh, you're not going to believe this. It's James O'Connor. Hang on. Something's being passed between them. In which direction? O'Connor to Scott. Scott's moving away. I think he's coming towards you, Vince. Yeah, I can see him. James is staying put. So I can't follow Scott. Do you read me? All right. Hmm. Get something to drink. Oh, stop being nice to me. It's confusing. All right, I'll start again. What happened, dipstick? Is that about? I've already given my statement to traffic. I want to hear you speak it. In your own words, I want to know exactly how you managed to kill a witness. That's bollocks, and you know it. Oh, what? Well, he's not dead then. The van's been found, stolen and burnt out. This is serious, Vincent. You could be looking at anything. Death by dangerous manslaughter. And don't you just love it? No, I don't, actually. And do you want to know why I don't? Because my girlfriend worries about you. Bollocks. Kathy worries. And then she talks to me about you. She feels responsible. And I keep telling her, you're a big man now. You can look after yourself. But you, you keep proving me wrong. Now, is there anything you want to tell me? Everything's in my state. Yeah, I've read it. I'm surprised you can manage joined up writing. Another fine mess, Vincent. Don't know how you manage it. Are you gonna marry her? Definitely. I don't expect an invite. It's 
Roxanne. I got your numbers from Lynn. Uh, sorry. Um, I'm not stalking you, but if you want to, then call me. But um, only if you want to. I'm not desperate, but I just liked you. Vincent, this is Kathy. Um, I've got somebody interested in the flat. I've arranged to collect the keys from the estate agent to show them around at three o'clock. Um, I'd rather you weren't there, if that's okay. Call me if there's a problem. Driver. You know that luxury suites hotel on the edge of town? Okay, I know the one. Yeah, I do. Vincent, it's Beth. I'm in the car park. Listen to me. You get out now. There are three yeah. thugs on the way. I'm coming to get you. Vincent, you get out now. Move in. following you. Following me since when? Since yesterday. I started off following James O'Connor and he led me to you at the cemetery. I saw the accident while well, the afternoon. There's no accident. They threw him out. It wasn't your fault. If we need it. I mean, at the casino as a croupier, but that's only if we need it. As interviewed by Terry O'Connor himself, he's got James on a very tight leash. Vincent, is that you? Kath? Yes. 
be all right. Look at it, they smash everything. Wait, it's just stuff. It's not important. No, it is important. David told me about what happened. Don't call him David, his name's Driscoll. You've got to give it up, Vincent. You can't fight the likes of Terry O'Connor. Yeah, you're right. I mean it. You should go away for a few days, a few weeks even. I will. I mean it. Come on. I'm not your problem anymore, am I? Vincent. I want to go and wait in the car. No, don't go, Beth. You don't have to go. A lot of music. Yeah. And they're all in alphabetical order. Well, that's A for anal. Well, I'm um, S for sad. I'm glad you're here. Well, I'm glad you're glad. No more going off and doing things on your own, all right? You started it. I mean it. Sorry. Yeah. Hello, Vincent. I'm outside. I'm right in the middle of your fucking world, and I tell you for nothing, I destroy it. I destroy you and the people around you. I'll cause you such havoc. Unless you leave my boy alone. This is your last chance. You take it. What did he say? I can't stay here. I'm talking to you, Jay. How much? Well, of course it bloody matters. It's my money. I know at least five grand's gone from the lion, so how much? That's it. Five grand. Bollocks. You like? You're in charge. Don't walk oh. away from me, Jay! Jay! I suppose we'll sleep here. Cheers. I still love camping. Oh, you shouldn't have said that, Jill. I've got this image now of me and you on the canvas. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I'm feeling you toasted marshmallows with a long stick. There's an owl hooting in a nearby wood. A wolf howling at the moon. Who's extinct in England, John? Oh, yeah. That's only four in my story, is it? Oh. Hey, boss. What? You cut my rosy? No, no, no offence, no. What do you think of the tape, then? Did the girl do good? No, she did wrong. But she did good. So they're talking about Scott Bean, right? Giving him money? Maybe, maybe. But what for? I mean, what can he possibly be selling besides what? His silence? Maybe that's all he's selling. After Scott walked away, right? James O'Connor stays sitting on the bench. Now, what was he waiting for? And the knife's still missing, according to the police file. Yeah, and the security tapes are missing, so... They could possibly be in the same place. And Scott disappeared from the Z bar pretty damn sharpish. Yeah, we're going to have to take a look round Scott Bean's house and I'll tell you what, I'd like a nice little talk with James alone. So we're not giving up then? No. No. We should be watching people. I wonder how much he's worth. Who? Mm. O'Connor? Yeah. A millionaire, do you think? Must be. It's all got blood on it, though, isn't it? You're trying to impress me, Robert, by talking big. How would you know, anyway? Well, you'd be surprised at what I know. Oh, yeah. Capital of Nepal. Kathmandu. All the other way around. <laughs> Here we go. Is that them? That is them. What are you doing? Well, I'm going to follow them. As soon as I find the right gear. Well, don't you think we should call Vincent first? There's no time, is there? Well, just don't 
Don't don't get too close. <laughs> I won't. Got a message from Julian. Where's Robert? He's in the sneaker hall. Why are you trying to stop him? I did try and stop him. He's doing all right. Look, we can see him. Anyone hungry? I might nip over the road if that's all right. Hmm. Yeah, I love a sausage roll. Vincent? No. Where are you off to, James? Come and show me where he's going. How'd you know? Because I know. Get yourself out of there. What's that? Yeah. Uh, twice, mate, yeah. No, I'm just playing snook, actually. Yeah, two frames up. He's on the balcony. Yeah, I've got it. Open the door! What the hell are you doing? Okay. What's so important? Scott Green's dead. It wasn't a nice death. Had a bag over his head and was pushed out of the back of a moving transit. And you know, boy, ask James. He knows. He should know. I want you out. Ask him! Do I look stupid? I want you to get out! Ask James who killed Scott Bean! Ask him. I didn't know about Scott, I swear. Ah! Oh, well, that's all right then. If you swear, you must be telling the truth. I didn't know. Yes, you did! You was there, I saw you. You was in the cemetery paying him off, and your old man pulled him in for a refund. I didn't know! You, you was there! Dead. You told your dad you was paying him off! What do you think <laughs> he was going to do? Give him a. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I didn't know, Nick. I didn't know. 
James. What was Scott selling? What was he selling? What was it, the knife? Where is it? Gone? I didn't get it. I didn't get it. He, he went to get it, but he didn't come back. Oh, of course he didn't come back. He's not coming back. He's dead. <laughs> what are you doing here? What's going on? Oh, were you lovers? Yeah. Well, that's nice, sir. Did Ian know? Probably not. Yes. Ian did know. Ian didn't care. Is that why you killed him? Because of her? No. You did kill him, though, didn't you? Didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, I killed Ian. <laughs> Ian started this. Ian is the one that started it all. James can finish it. All of it. Now you know what happened to Scott and to Ian. You're going to tell me everything and you're going to show me because you've got the tapes. There's enough cameras in that club to have caught something. That's why the tapes went missing. Now you show me and end it. Why didn't Ian care about you two? He didn't want to upset James. Is that you thinking that, or is that fact? It's a fact. He said it. What did he want? A link to my father. as a way into Clubland. He. John? Vince, you were right. Yeah. I'm on my way to the line there. Yeah, I'll meet you there. This, uh, is my dad in here? Not yet. He's on his way, though. Where have you been? Okay, you start. Vincent, can you hear me? Is this thing working? Yeah, we can hear you. Should be more than a couple of minutes, right? Yes, I'm here. Your old man's here. Shit. James is coming in now. He's coming to you. What do you want to do? There's a fire exit at the back. I'll see you there. in the bag. I asked you a question. What's in the bag? Videotapes. Tapes of me in the set bar. In one of them I'll go to the toilet. Have a piss, wash my hands. Some bloke I know decides to fly at me with a knife. We fight. And then the knife's on the floor, so I, I grab it. To stop him from grabbing it. 
and then he flies at me again and I try to stop him. But I don't. I kill him. I murder him. That's how the world sees me, Dad. I don't like it. I can't handle it. I have to change it. I have to go. Hey, behave yourself by crying out loud! Look at yourself! Look at yourself, eh? Think about it. Do you want to go to prison, do you? I will not lose you. I won't. I will do whatever is necessary to keep you safe, even if that means locking you up myself. I will not lose you. Understand? I love you, son. I love you. Too much to lose you. Trust me. Will you do that? James. Tell your dad I've got the knife. Tell him I've got the knife and I'm outside. Vincent Gallagher says to tell you he's got the knife. He's outside waiting for me. in a safe place. What do you want? I want three things. First, I want you to leave me and mine alone. Second, I want to see the video on behalf of my client. And third, I want you to let James make his own decision. If he's his father's son, so be it. But he's got to make his own choice. He'll choose the courtroom. Look, Terry, it seems to me this was self-defense. Once they see what kind of boy your son is... You know him well, do you? I know he's not you. Just give it. Why did he and Arbor attack James? In your club, in your bar, in front of your cameras. That wasn't clever. I know he was off his nut. He was having a go at you, Terry. He was having a go at you. You think? James told me that you humiliated him. You laughed at him and you whispered something in his ear. What did you say, Terry? It must have been good, because half an hour later he came back and tried to stab James. The only reason I'm talking to you is because my boy is watching. Now, give me the knife or you and yours will be looking over your shoulder. And it shouldn't be too difficult to find you. John, where is it? Oh, it's safe. Now, you've got two days before I go to the police. I want to see that video. And I want to know what you whispered.
Hello, Vincent. I knew you'd be nervous. So I thought I'd wait here for you. I brought the tapes. From all the cameras. Do you want to look at them? See? Ian Alper's got the knife. It was self-defense. Obviously, Jay was defending himself. He was fighting back. But it was Ian Harper who attacked him. Why would he want to do that? Because he's a shit. I heard about him from Jay and I didn't know the sound of him. Rich boy. Big ideas. Anyway, that night he brought him to the club and I agreed to see him. To hear him out. And I've got ideas. Enthusiasm. Business. Straight away, he was in my face with his schemes. Maybe something like the Lion Club, only, you know, bigger. I could see he was out of his head. Nose, tongue, dripping with coke. So I challenged him. Have you brought drugs onto the premises? <laughs> Mr. O'Connor, I'm sorry, haven't you? He was full of apologies. Pathetic. So I thought I'd see what he was really made of. What's your girlfriend's name? Of course, I had no idea then that Nicola and Jay were lovers. Uh, Nicola. She'll do. Um, but what, what do you mean? Do I have to be crude and spell it out to you? You arrange Nicola for me and we can start again. Oh, sorry, you arrange Nicola. She can be unconscious if you like. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, um, <laughs> arrange, arrange. You really are a piece of filth, aren't you? What? I can't talk to filth, no. I certainly can't do business with it. Bye. I told Jay what kind of friend he really was, and I thought that'd be the end of it. Took it out on Jay. And I nearly lost him. And now he's begging me to let him go to the police, to the cause. Let him do it then, let him go to the police. But then I lose control. He's my son. He's not going to get justice. I do not want to lose him, Vince. Sorry. How comes he's listening to me before he's listening to his dad? He's everything you wanted him to be. He's not a villain like his dad, is he? You've done a good job, you should be proud of him. Let him go to the police. Who do I ask for? At the farm. Driscoll. DCI Driscoll. He's top piggy. because he was an horrible little bastard who was out of his death, eh? He's gonna think I'm talking about a complete stranger. I've 
What did you tell him? Vincent. You fancy a coffee? Um, I'll get you a coffee. Yeah. What do you tell him? Got a cake. Nice bit of cake. I told him the truth. That's what he paid us for. I told him not to worry about what's said and who's saying it. I told him, you know, he's boy best. Better than anyone. You know? That's what I wanted to tell him. <laughs>